she's tenacious, ultra competitive. You know, if you're in a close race, you put your money on her because she will fight with everything that she's got in her. Hey, I'm Kimmy Master. I'm 20 years old. I have been swimming with my coach, Dean Pugh, since I was eight years old. I love the sport, as crazy as that may sound. Um, I started swimming because my brother got burnt as a toddler and Big Brother was in the pool swimming and I was like, well, I want to do what he's doing. There's no way I'm not going to do what my big brother's doing. So I got in the pool. I had really bad asthma at the time as well, and the doctor said it would be a good idea anyway. Um, so I started swimming, and the story starts from there, really. G'day, I'm Dean. Uh, I've been coaching Kieran since she was... Oh, well, she's been in my program since she was eight years old. I, I always felt, from probably the age of 14, that she had what it took to swim at the international level. We just needed to bring that out of her, you know. Swimming, I train anywhere between 24 to 36 hours a week. Kieran is very inspiring to myself and also to the younger swimmers around her who are constantly looking up to her as a role model. I'm studying part-time at USQ. I juggle work so I work when I can which is really good to have an employer that understands that swimming for me is obviously first so study is second work is third because if I can't work it doesn't matter because Swimming Australia is very supportive at the moment with my crew. I can't really put numbers on them but there's countless Brisbane swimming medals countless Queensland swimming and Australian age national medals. She's now the two-time national champion in the 400 IM, the US Open champion in the 400 IM. She has been the Brisbane Swimming Rising Star, which is the award from Brisbane Swimming to the swim of eight that is most likely to go on and represent Australia. She, one of the one of the best things is that every time Kieran's represented Australia, she's swum personal bests in every event that she's swum, and she's come home with medals. Oh, there you go. Uh, leading into trials, I was very. I felt a lot of pressure because it was the first time I went in and the target was on my back instead of everyone else, like me chasing someone else. So I felt the pressure there because I didn't have anyone to chase anymore. Everyone was coming for me. Ah, the lead up was not perfect. She was going extremely well. She had some back issues. She had a slip on the pool deck around the pool doing some learn to swim and had some back issues and that put us back a little bit during February. There was a lot going through my mind before I raced the 4 and I am at trials. Um, I was I wasn't as nervous as I ever have been. Um, but I think for me there was a lot riding on it because Commonwealth Games is it's a it's a big team to make and I didn't I didn't want to miss the team because I just missed Worlds last year by one second. So women's 400 meter IM. Me, I I got in the pool and I was ready. I knew that Ellen Gandy, who was a few three lanes away from me, was going to go out hard because she's a butterfly. So I did see her because I breathed to the side of my fly and I saw that she was a long way in front of me. Her butterfly looks good. This is a glimpse of what she'll be like in the 200 fly. And that made me scared, but from then I just had to put up those little black shades next to me and go, alright, this is my race. So leading into the backstroke, which is my strength, um, I used that, trying to gain on her. Um, I didn't gain as much as I thought I would have in the backstroke, which 
probably put a little bit of doubt in my mind, thinking, oh my god, I'm not going to win this. Come to my breaststroke, which is my weakness, I was like, all right, this is going to be the best goddamn breaststroke leg I've ever done in my life. The thing I'm liking about this, though, is that the two girls are racing the race against each other. And funny enough, it was. Jenny just ahead on that turn. Gee, that margin really trimmed on that 50 metre, and it's just tight right now between Gandy and McMaster. Um, it was my fastest breaststroke split by one second ever, so I knuckled down, did my breaststroke, was in front and leading. The 100 free at the end of a 4 am is always absolutely horrible. It is so painful, it's unreal. I, I've never felt so much life in the swim. Hold on to your hats, because here we go. But... Head down, legs going. This is going to be so close on the qualifying time. She has to come back in the 29 seconds. She's giving it everything. The big six been kick. Really trying. McMaster holding a hard body length advantage. Can she finish it off? Can she beat the time of a 4.37.77? It's going to go past her now. When I looked up and saw my time, I was disappointed. Um, I didn't feel like I had raced what I, like, raced the race, like, done my race plan how I should have. Um, so I looked at the time and it was 0.4 outside my best. For me, I didn't think of the comp games at that point. I just saw the time and I wasn't happy with it, so I didn't smile post-race. Um, I congratulated everyone next to me, though, and I was really happy for them, but I think for me, I could have swung that down. Right, the feeling for me was a lot different than the feeling for her because she went into the race believing that the A standard was the Commonwealth Games selection standard, which it wasn't, it was the Pantac selection standard. The B standard was the Commonwealth Games selection time, of which she was about, she was six seconds under that. And she just fell short of the A standard, so she reacted like, Oh, no, I missed the same. I think it's it's definitely mixed emotions when you hear you're on the Commonwealth Games team. You're on your first Australian team, congratulations. Like it's you work so long to achieve that one that one thing, your first Australian team. It is weird going into university the day after you made the Commonwealth Games team because obviously people don't know you, people don't necessarily watch the sport of swimming, so for me, it was just like any other day. Like, I have to separate myself as a swimmer to myself as a person because the two of them, they are very different. Myself as a swimmer, like that's that's my swimming world and that's where I am most comfortable. Myself as a person, I'm still trying to figure out who that is. So, as much as I would love to just run into a room and tell everyone, hey guys, I'm on the Commonwealth Games team. For me, it was kind of also settling the fact that no one knew because I could still be me and not have the pressure. Yeah.